Hi folks, this is Phil from Angler Sport Fishing. Welcome to a brand new season of our Palm Bait Demos. Uh, we've got a new production supervisor here, Nova. Um, we've got a new lady behind the camera. we got my wife, Lindsay, instead of Parker. Parker's in high school now, so he's a pretty busy cat. Not able to do this sort of stuff. And then Piper is our other supervisor. He's uh, keeping an eye on what we got going on today, too. So today we're going to be talking about the grenade and the mini grenade from Muskie Mayhem Tackle. The mini grenade is 10 and a half inches long and it's got number seven blades and the regular grenade is 13 inches long and it's got double number nine blades on the end. They both have a big lead weight on the front and they're basically engineered so that you can throw these baits out and in talking to Brad and Carrie about these baits, basically the idea is that if you have a, a specific uh, depth that you want to fish, you can count these down just like a bulldog. One second is going to be one foot down with either one of these baits. So you want to go down 10 feet, count it down 10 feet, 10 seconds, I'm sorry, and start reeling. Um, they're made to go nice and slow. I mean, they can go fast if you need them to, but um, the idea is that you can keep them down low. If you have something in the, in the water profile where you want to keep it at a certain depth, that's kind of what these are engineered for. Um, they do have a special leader for them as well. It's a one strand, it's a long leader. What Brad said was that these baits, let me take it off here. These baits were getting hit on the fall quite a bit. I was talking to Brad and uh, Austin Wiggerman at the Milwaukee show, and he was telling me that as these baits are getting counted down, it was quite often that those the, the fish would grab it, and with a normal fluorocarbon leader, you might get bent over and you might just get bit right off. So they have a single wire leader. It's a longer leader than what I normally use. I'm not sure off the top of my head, but I'm guessing it's about 15, 16 inches. Um, these are designed specifically for using with the grenade so that as it's sinking down, that bait's still staying away from your main line and that if you do get bit on the fall, that you're not gonna lose that fish. Right, so we'll start off with the mini grenade. Give it a few casts here and see how it looks in the water. As you can tell, I got some of my favorite colors here. This is a pretty neat looking. It's almost like the uh, October Feast color from uh, TRO. It's got some nice black and some orange and some pearl mixed in. I really love having that pearl mixed in. To me, it gives the bucktail a really lifelike look in the water. And really, for the sake of doing these videos, it's not really gonna, I'm not gonna try, I'm gonna try and keep it pretty high in the water column. So it's really not what it's designed to do. But you can tell even reeling this in, it's much lower in the water column than a normal bucktail would be. I just casted that out and started with a normal retrieve speed. I mean, this thing sinks fast and it stays down. And really, it's uh, I'm gonna have to go fast on the next cast in order to make sure that you can see it. But you can definitely tell if your strike zone is a little bit deeper, that it's gonna do what you want it to do. You can work it fast and keep it shallow if you want, but I mean, you gotta keep it moving for sure. So this one again is the mini grenade. Number seven blades on this one, 10 and a half inches long. And we'll take a look at the other one. All right, so this is the full size regular grenade. This one's gonna be 13 inches long, number nine blades. This is a color that I would definitely use on Green Bay. Any, any place I fish really, it's got the one gold blade, white it's got a lot of copper brown and and pearl in the skirt again um, on a sunny day this is going to be a go-to color for me for sure i really like having one painted blade and one flash or one one shiny and then uh this is just a great color for me on a on a sunny day i don't think you could beat this one it's april 13th today and it was up over 80 degrees today in wisconsin so we are definitely out of our element here right now but We'll take it. It's nice for videos. So you can see this bait's got a big profile. Again, the bait, for what it is, doesn't really lend itself well 
to this video format just because we're trying to show it to you in the water but the neat thing is I'll, I'll do a little bit slower cast here the idea that you can throw this out there and let it sink just a little bit and it stays real low I'll, I'll reel this at a normal pace at client speed as as Uncle Luke would say you could tell reeling this fast a normal bucktail would be you know maybe six inches a foot under the water and this thing's coming up down there. I didn't even let this sink for more than a few seconds. And it came down, came up from probably five feet down. I'll do another one trying to keep it up high, just so you can see it a little bit better in the water. This bait's made to do a straight retrieve. It's not made to do a pull pause or any kind of thing like that. Um, the main thing that this bait is designed to do compared to a different bucktail, compared to other bucktails, is just to be able to work that water column a lot better. I've heard Brad and Kerry talk about it many times on the Backlash podcast, about how Kerry does a great job of going real slow and keeping her baits down low, but not a lot of people are able to do that. So this bait is designed to do exactly that. To wrap it up that's our uh, grenade from musky mayhem tackle it's our first episode of the pond bait demos 2023 i'm glad you're here glad you're back for another season and uh thanks for watching thanks everybody for watching our video on the musky mayhem grenade i'm just going to do a short plug here you're going to see us mention this in all of our videos we're going to be hosting an adoption fundraiser benefit uh, for my wife and I. We're going to be holding a muskie tournament on Green Bay, October 7th. Um, it's going to be out of, well, it's it's a trailerable tournament. It'll be on the Fish Donkey app, uh, but everything is going to be held afterwards at the Green Bay Yacht Club. So we're going to have silent auctions, raffles, food, drinks, everything like that. If you're wanting to donate, please let me know. Contact me on Facebook or uh, shoot me a message. Uh, Otherwise, if you want to fish it, it is live on the Fish Donkey app, and we have an events page on Facebook where you can find all the details. Any questions, by all means, reach out. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching.